Hi, it's Chester Topper from Blue Peak and Computer Training. Uh, in this video, we're going to look at a function called date diff. And we're going to use this function to uh, solve this particular problem where we want to be able to uh, find out how many years, months, and days uh, there are between two, two dates. So, what I'm going to do is just copy these dates into another sheet. And let's look at how we can use this function. So the function is called date diff. And what you'll find is, is that it doesn't actually appear anywhere in this little screen tip when I uh, type in the name of the function. So there isn't going to be any screen tip that's going to kind of help you uh, with creating your function. But actually, the function only has three arguments. Now, the first thing it's going to ask for is the start date, which is in A1 in my particular example. And then it's going to ask for the finish date, which is in B1 in my example. Now, the last argument requires you to tell it what unit of time you want to return. So, for example, if I wanted to know the difference in years between these two dates, I would put in a Y in quotation marks press enter and it would tell me that there were 15 years between those two dates. If I go into the formula bar and change the y to an m, you've guessed it, it will return the total number of months between those two dates. If I'm actually after just the difference between months excluding years, then what I would do is put ym into the third argument. And that gives me the difference between those two months, excluding the years. If I'm looking to calculate um, the number of days between the two year, uh, dates, I'd use D. So there are 5,547 days between these two dates. If I'm actually looking to calculate the number of days, excluding years and months, I'd put MD. So that gives me the calculation between 1 and 10. If I'm looking to calculate the number of days excluding years and not years and months, I'd use YD. So I'm going to start off with obviously calculating the number of years between the two dates. So I'm using my uh, date diff with the Y unit. So that gives me 15 years. But I also want, in the same formula, to calculate the number of months as well. So I want it to say 15 years, 2 months, etc. So what I can do is use the concatenation symbol, which is the ampersand symbol, to join the calculation of the number of years to the calculation of the number of months. So I'm going to say, well, first of all, let's say date diff. Um, and I'm going to label this answer with the word years. Okay, now what I've had to do, because I'm returning a text string there, I've had to put it in double quotation marks. Let's see what that does. If I press return, you can see that it just concatenates the result of my date diff function with the word years. Now what I want to do then is now concatenate that with another date diff function. This time, same dates, but I want to know the number of months as well. Now, if you remember from earlier on, what we'll have to use is YM. So that's the difference in months excluding years. And close the brackets. And then what I would do is I would concatenate that with the label months. Oh, so I leave a little space before the word months press return and you can see that I have 15 years and two months. Um, it would be helpful if I had a space after years as well. So 15 years and two months. So what I could also do if I wanted to is add on the days. So let's put a space after our months. And we're going to have ampersand and then date diff again. Same dates as before. This time, what I want to do is return the 
difference in days excluding months so MD and then what I can do is concatenate that with a label for days and there we are I have the perfect calculation for this situation calculating maybe the age of an individual we get 15 years we get the years we get the months and we get the days okay hopefully that was helpful